Welcome back to the channel where today I'll be showing you how to make sweet pastry. This is a really versatile and robust recipe and can be used for most sweet pastry application and helps lighten your sweet baking by encasing your bakes in a light crumbly buttery shell. It's essential for the success of the pastry that the egg and butter are at room temperature. If you are new around here and like to improve your cooking and baking then start right now by subscribing and turning on the notification bell. Begin by creaming the butter and icing sugar together until they are combined into a smooth pale paste. Beat the egg and add in stages, beating well between each addition and then add the flour and finely grate in the lemon zest. Fold the mix together, try to mix as lightly as possible as the key to the recipe is to keep the pastry as light and as crumbly as possible when it has been baked. Once fully combined, cover and refrigerate until needed but for a minimum of 20 minutes. This is to allow any glutens that have become worked and elastic during the kneading process to relax. When you're ready to use the pastry, take from the fridge and allow it to soften slightly. Cut a piece a suitable size to cover your chosen tin and roll out as thin as possible using plenty of flour to prevent sticking. You will see compared to other pastries such as short crust, it is quite a dry and short pastry and can break apart quite easily. Gently lower the pastry into the tart tin, pressing right into the corners of the tin with the ball of the pastry, but keep in mind the pastry can break very easily. Trim the excess and allow it to rest for a few minutes. Line with baking paper and fill with baking beans, or as you can see here, I use pulses such as rice in place of baking beans. Bake at 160 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. This may be more or less depending on your oven, but don't open the oven door in the initial baking process as the pastry briefly melts as it starts to bake and may break away from the tin before it has begun to bake. When the shells are golden outside, remove from the oven and take out the baking beans. If the inside is still pale, return to the oven for five more minutes to bake fully. Remove from the oven and when cool, trim the shells flush with the tin and then your tart shells are ready to use in your sweet bakes. Thanks for watching, if you have enjoyed the video be sure to give it a like, share and subscribe and for more cooking and baking check out one of the recipes on screen now and I look forward to seeing you in another cooking and baking demonstration.